In this video, you're gonna see how I have both 120 fans up top, rotated my power supply in just a few short minutes to get some extra exhaust out of this case. Orientation that they have the power supply, you cannot get this 120 fan in the front and you're sucking air from the power supply from the side cover. So we're gonna start by taking the top cover off, which I already have unscrewed. I have both fans mounted in here, just cause I was giving it a test run at home. Now here we have the top cover. I'm gonna be drilling out the rivets. There are three here. One, two, three. And there are three right here. So let me drill those out so we can remove the plate. So the drill bit I'll be using is the eighth inch. Next up are these three on the inside. You're gonna have to drill them at an angle. So actually the way that I originally intended for it to work with the power supply being 100% flush and down here will not work unless you cut this original bracket up to bury it all the way down there where you could maybe use some angle bracket or what have you. It fits right in perfectly. The only thing is the wire clearance with your GPU. This is a Thick3 Ultra, so this is a rather large card. If you had a two fan card, this would be really simple. So if you intend on using the original tray, you're just gonna have to cut along this upper line probably actually used a grinder for it. It's quite late where I am at the moment. So now you can mount your plate onto the power supply. Take your power supply with the plate on it now. Jimmy it on in there. You'll feel it hitting the stock tabs, which is perfect. Take your self tapper, since it's the same exact size as the hole that's here. You can run one more in right over here. You can see the inside. And here we have the power supply mounted. So here, as you can see, we have the power supply mounted. There's our power wire. Still goes in. Two 120 fans on the top. Looking good. We have the underside view. What I mostly like about this again, is you get your two fans on top, you get the power supply, pulling the heat off of the CPU. It's all shooting up. Before it was shooting up, but it's pulling air from the back plate, and that's not, or the side cover, whatever you want to call it. And to me, I'd rather have it like this. This little $50 case is awesome. 100% thrilled with it. So far I've used the NZXT H1 and my next case will be a Dan A4 or a Sliger 650. I'm totally in love with these small form factors, but this mod I just felt had to be done. Hacked up the old bracket a little bit. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you like that little mod that I did to the QBX. Go get one for yourself.